welcome everyone. Thank you. This is our last team meeting of the year. So um, I want to thank you for coming. Happy holidays. All right. Uh, On time trivia. So we have two questions. The first one to answer what is the what is one of the KDB benefits from our mission statement? Oh, sorry, Abby. <laughs> I know. Win-win. <laughs> Win-win. It's all time drawing. Come on. I'm going to Google it. Look at the lobby. Look at the lobby. Legacy. Win-win or no deal. What? Win-win or no deal. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Thank you. 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 What are the three L's of the main real estate agent? Lead, listing, leverage. Lead, listing, leverage. You already won. You already won. I know you were here. Aren't you glad we all know that? I have to know that. How about we do a phone call? All the phone calls. Notice it was in order. Exactly. Remember it. You don't have enough business, you have a leads issue. If your business is overwhelmed, you have then you should start focusing on this business. And then if you have now you're getting overwhelmed, then you should focus on that. Hey, if you don't have leads, leads, everyone to me that I don't have enough business, so you got leads issues. Like, I'm already, right? So big thanks to our last one to Ravon. Thank you. John Nelson with Fidelity and Warranty. And first of all, thank you. Merry Christmas, happy holidays, happy Hanukkah. Um, we're ready to leave. We've just got a couple of weeks to leave. I was with Michelle the other day, and she uh, pointed something out to me that I went away thinking about that we can't forget to pivot and to shift. Things are changing. We've got to be prepared for any of that. So we're all getting ready to shift into a new year right now. And to make us soar, turn up your listeners, participate, and be willing to continue to learn new things. There's always, no matter how long we're doing this, any of us can sit in a presentation or a motivational speaker and as long as we come out with one nugget, we learned something. So to get us all into the next year, just be willing to, you know, make it good for us because we all want to succeed. So again, I mean, Von Nelson with Fidelity Home Warranty, please, if I haven't actually sat down with any of you and you would like to, grab my card and we'll make an appointment. Happy to, I don't want to Zoom. <laughs> so we're gonna <laughs> <laughs> so don't invite me to Zoom if I can get away with it. So you know we'll make an appointment to sit down because not only do I want you to know about this, um, there's a lot of other things I can help you with, even marketing tools and things like that. So <clears throat> proud, proud, proud to be um, one of your sponsors and your home warranty company. Um, enjoy your lunch, but grab my card and let's make an appointment. Um, and then we can all um, say cheers to the success of all of us. That's right. Uh, all that and back cheers, we picked this up, we saw this at another meeting, and we wanted to do this. This is Christmas. Happy holidays. So a lot of times um, I tell people, you're, oh, wow, you're all that and back of chips, right? So <laughs> we want to do this as a thankful measure. So we want to ask you, is there anyone you would like to give a bag of chips? Because in your life, they're all that and a bag of chips for you. So, yeah. um, so who wants a bag to start out? So, I'll take one. Okay, I'm going to share my bag with Harm. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I want one. Share in mind to Rich because Rich is a great coach, a great, great coach. accountability partner, yeah. and he's awesome. Because you have done so much for this market center with your tool changes and everything. Oh, Ariel. 
Taylor. Wow. Wow. The girl from the team are so nice. <laughs> <laughs> Go to none other than Don. Oh, man, he's going to have a six pack up there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to get line two out over here. Two are great support staff. I don't think we would function if it weren't for these ladies here. True. Absolutely. I want to share my bag to Brian Jang. He's half my age, but I'm learning so much from him. <laughs> Literally motivating, inspiring, humbling me down. I'm going to give the one and only Bruce Hammer. Uh, all nice. he does for us to make yeah. sure we're compliant and not to get up here. And this was kind of tough. My, my whole team's going to have to split the small bed. Without you guys, I wouldn't be here today. And all of your hard work pushes me to be better for all of you. So this is the JDR. Yeah. Can I kind of go to what Rich said about Bruce? I don't even work here, you guys, but Bruce helps me so much. I call him with all kinds of random um, <laughs> contract questions, legal questions. So I'll get you a bag of chips. Literally, <laughs> you're helping the bottom. <laughs> yeah, he helps me a like lot. He said, I can do this. Is that legal? Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I thank him so much. You know, the story is about a random call from some agent that he knew who's not here, and he had her call me. <laughs> <laughs> I love how we're doing my other agents. Awesome. Right. Okay. Oh, you have a hug? I just appreciate how they always participate, they always show up, and they're always so positive, and they make delicious treats last week. Yes, yes, yes. And they always attend my classes. So she comes in our office. Andrea Spiderbeck. Andrea, James Brown, Daniel Hernandez. Hi, I'm Daniel. And what's your famous relation in this office? Daniel, stand up. So. Ariel is her aunt. His, his, his aunt. aunt. Sorry. His aunt. <laughs> I'm older. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you know what I'm saying? 
Welcome everyone. We appreciate it. Um, Jose Hernandez, please come to the floor. I am super happy to announce that Jose is now one of our productivity And if you don't know, um, Jose has been talking for years. <laughs> Always had the interest in being of more value and helping out, you know, not only the team I was with, but also the office. Um, for those who don't know, I just want to know about your experience. Um, so, bullet points. Uh, <laughs> Thank you for that. <laughs> My biggest thing is like, hey, tell me about yourself, what's your bio? Uh, kind of like new age, it's like, I don't know what to say right now. So, my experience is I've been in the industry for a little over six years. Prior to that, I used to work for the state. So, I worked for the state, I did the traditional route, I went to and I got my degree with Kelly. And I went to get that job, and she was supposed to sit there for 35 years and retire. <laughs> yeah, five years of that, I'm like, you know, there's much more that I want to do, especially with my personality. I'm the water cooler guy. I'm high eye. <laughs> I'll throw that out there. <laughs> um, I've capped every year except my first year. My first year was actually $300 shot. $300. Bucks. I got asked me, do you want to get out of pocket the cap? I said, no, because I can earn that. Which will be four. I will cap every year. Uh, from there, I'm a Pinterest enthusiast. Thank you for being that. Yeah. So a lot of people laugh at me. So like, you know, Pinterest, I find a lot of good information, <laughs> such as food, workouts, leadership, mentoring, real estate, marketing. There's so much. If you look at my feed, people are like, wow. <laughs> I'm really happy to follow against my own type of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, go follow Where can we follow you at, okay? <laughs> <laughs> um, really packed up, really valued to my apartment. Yeah, that's a big thing that I have. In that sense, I've been talking with Jafar. I mean, John, Parm has been a great influence on me. She's helped me a lot with me growing from being the first one in the door to being up to this point. So I have a lot of great mentors, but my biggest thing intention is I always want to be of value to my surroundings. Uh, the big thing is I, I do like this, listen to a lot of podcasts. You know, we don't get paid by the hour, we get paid by the value we to reality. And that's my biggest thing. So that's why me coming into this position, I want to be a value to all of you. I would love to, if you have a question, a concern, a big, a little tip, I'm always a bit of value to you guys as being a coach. I know I'm in the position now, so I'm even happy that I can actually do that and share with you guys to see you all progress, not only in your business, but yourself. Great about Keller Williams, God, family, business. It's However, great. after COVID, we all know we're a little in the middle of it, and so is our client. <laughs> so, big thing that I focus on, you know, if you do follow me on my social media, I, you know, I'm sitting around, I really do like to work out because I like to get my physiology right. Great thing is that Tony Robbins going to be coming to Family Union this year. That's exciting. <laughs> you know, the big thing that I got from him is that in order to change your mentality, you got to change your physiology. So, I really do coach on this that I want you to take care of yourself first because how are we supposed to handle and take care of the clients or the effects if you don't take care of yourself? I think that was, a, yes, I'm a husband. I've been married for about five years. <laughs> and I have three kids that are actually my big wife and things are like I have a 14 year old, yes, I'm 36. <laughs> Everybody's like, you got a 14 year old? Yes, he's a freshman in high school. <laughs> and then I also have uh, my, my son Joaquin, he's well, <laughs> seven. <laughs> so I know how that is to actually manage the business. And want to become better than you, but have children. Just is not easy. When you don't have kids, you know what But the biggest challenge is how do I have that life by desire, that balance, and also still provide for my family, be there presently, and help the right business. Um, I think I took more time than I needed to be done. Thank you. So, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, first transactions. Leslie, would you like? Let's go. And I want to say, closing your first deal in this market is a beat. Great job. Congratulations. Congratulations. I am super proud of this group. I have the pleasure of coaching amazing agents. I started coaching them beginning of September, I think it was. And they've done amazingly well. 
uh, they could just be plugged in and charged forward in a challenging market. So these are in order. We have some of them aren't here today, but Jesse and Magiana. And This team, they are a power couple, <laughs> dynamic duo that you are going to love in 2024. Come on, Jesse. Come on, Jesse. Let's, Let's go. go. The team effort over here. You're only a little red. Yeah, <laughs> super red. <laughs> Watch out for more to come from these guys. Let's go. Thank you. <laughs> Wait, oh, Bob. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I know, but you don't edit. You know, I mean, yeah, she'll edit later. <laughs> It is happening. It isn't something trying to phrase. It's okay. You just don't make it work. Give me that. Um, congratulations, cappers. We got two new cappers and we have a new record in capping, actually. So, congratulations to David. <laughs> Conversation about what we could bring value to our team here. And so we started account accountability for Tom Club, right? And so I want to spotlight seven people here on this, and I have an award for each of you. Uh, so let me call up one at a time. This is for 75% or more show up rate from the time you came on and stayed with our group. So first and not last. Definitely will be the deal team. Come on up. Thank you. Your commitment to club that you honored. So thank you guys. Yeah, absolutely. You want to do a picture? Got it. I got it. Got it. Yeah. There we go. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Anyone know me? Homeland and Tucker. Congratulations. Thank you for your commitment and excellence. All right. All right. Rock star, rock star. Rock star. Abedji, he is not here in person today. I'll make sure to let him know that 75% might have dropped. <laughs> <laughs> Luke Vincent. Luke Vincent. Yes, I'm going to so much. It's been an honor to help you and learn from you as well. He's a hustler. Yeah, 
All right, all right. And Ariel Urias. We also have the second award for not only the people that showed up 75% or more, also, we have our top three closed volume for the groups that were in club. Uh, Scott Klein, not present today. Let's go ahead and call up David Goodwin, number two. How many of you closed volume in club? And, and number two. It's a DGR. And can I just say this guy, amazing leader. Um, great. I mean, this whole, this, there's a lot of people involved in club, but experiencing it, and it's something that I needed. I know that a lot of people who are in club as well. It's something that just motivates you to keep going, figure out what you need to do, and, and just go for it. So, I want to thank you, Miles. It's really, really a great thing. And our number one, Jason not only did she commit to 75% or more show up rate, she also is our top closing things club, the one and only Levy Starwall. So this actually gave a lot to me because I joined club so I can be accountable as a coach. I teach that I hold people accountable, but I needed a kick in the butt and I appreciate that. And it's about the everybody here keeping us all accountable. If you haven't joined us, I encourage you to do so. It made a huge difference in my business the second half of the year. Awesome. So thank you. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Congrats. Club will not end just because we're in the holidays. We do have our final in-person meeting to over $100 million leads by Alex Lamozzi, and it's an hour and a half. It's on Monday, starting at 2 o'clock, and we do have lunch. So if you're thinking about, hey, maybe I need accountability in 2024 because maybe my business wasn't up to par or to your own personal standard, this is a great way to hold yourself accountable and say your goals each week in front of everybody. So when you know when you're scrolling on Instagram and you could be making calls or door knocking, you'll remember that on Mondays you're going to remember when you have more to Awesome. Thank you, guys. And I appreciate the opportunity. Thank you, Mr. Pitch your listings, and I don't have listings they need to pitch. Go ahead, Rich. Get back. Yeah, uh, <laughs> uh, we do have a. It is still on the market. It is a 0.74 acre lot, nine five eight three eight, listed at two hundred something thousand. Uh, the opportunity for that is right across the street, just down the street a little bit. Uh, somebody had purchased the same style piece of land. Just, I think it's like 0.75, and ours is 0.74. They put four homes on it. So it is a development opportunity there. Yeah, please, please. Just a pause. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what else do we have on? I think everything else is coming. Oh, we have two upcoming. But I can talk about that. Yeah. All right. Anyone else? That, that would be next year. I don't have a meeting again. Right. <laughs> I have a four bed, three bath, a little over 2,000 square feet in Whitney Ranch in Rockland. They'll be hitting the market this week at 719. Yeah. Yes. I I listed one yesterday in Brentwood. I don't know if anybody has any clients out there, but uh, nine ninety five. It's thirty four hundred square feet, five bedroom. Has paid solar for the pool and the electricity. Um, RV parking. Um, yeah. Anyone else? Get your listings. Get a chance. Run out of the year. Get sold. Oh, we have some market center updates we want to talk about. The first one is our turkey drive. Congratulations to all who volunteered. We actually delivered 142 turkeys and like 200 boxes of mashed potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, can you do just turkeys? But we also need mashed potatoes. So, and kudos to Amanda. She drove and cleaned out like Walmart and like a grocery store of all their instant mashed potatoes. So, yeah, right before things can be too. But we helped over 3,000 people to become student high school district. So, congratulations to all of you and thank you to all of you who donated. Um, it went to a good cause and went to needy families who had been shown student high school district. Um, coming ongoing, we have club check in Monday, Zoom, uh, Tuesday compliance series. Clubs in person. Clubs in person. In person. 
And then also we have our coaching session. So if you're in coaching, you should have your in-person Zooms get around with your goal. And it's 11.30 a.m. I don't work that late. <laughs> PM. Don't, don't show up. And go. The party, I, don't you show up at night. <laughs> I won't be here. <laughs> Um, okay, Vince. Um, I'm super happy. That's right. Yeah. We're doing uh, vision board class. Vision board class. Yeah, so January fourth, we'll provide everything you need. It's not just a a thing that women do. So uh, all you guys are invited to. Yeah, it, it's awesome. I, I've done one every year, and I update it. You know, it's something that you can change as your goals or things that you want to achieve um, happen or you make happen. So I'm looking forward to seeing everyone. That There's nothing greater than having a vision board on your Serious. Computer. And then you accomplish something yes. on there. Yeah. You're like, that is so Or awesome. you don't realize it. Yeah, you know, you can realize it sometimes you're like, oh, I did put that on I there. Right? Yeah, exactly. yeah, so um, vision board, we're going to have it here for you January 4th. Please come and participate. Trust me. Um, one of the things, you know, all constantly need to be reminded about when we talk about the why yeah. and your big why is your big why. And if you put that visual format and put it in front of you consistently, it will help you stay on course. So power hour. If you haven't been to power hour with Marissa, it's awesome. Literally, you get on and you just call. You make calls. <laughs> so we're talking about club, about doing your accountability. There's no better hour than do it with other people making calls and participating. And if you need that help to get those calls made and or, or just say, how are other people calling and what are they saying? A good, a good example is Power Hour, so please, we have that on the schedule for you. Um, we're trying to help you get into action, and this is a great video. Um, Peel, management, Vincent. Vincent. Dark Sun. So <laughs> we're, we got a lot of feedback from a lot of people in, uh, in the group, agents-wise, and we're going to be sending out an email to everyone and a Facebook uh, poll in the agent group. We've heard you want to learn more about command. I am shocked. I can't believe this. So I'm totally stoked about this at this point. Uh, but the poll is going to go out. There's going to be some selections for you guys to choose. And then you can also put in choose your own as to what you want to learn about. So please, please, please fill it out. This is how we're going to kind of move forward with some of my trainings and that kind of stuff. I'm super excited. We're actually putting a whole curriculum together on everything you need to do in real estate at a very time. But this is also part of that. We're going to give you all access to command. And I can tell you, I have never met anyone other than Zach who knows more about command than this. <laughs> Seriously. We, so like, we go into the arc, the deep, you know, deep tunnels of command. And you just go, oh, no, this is this. Awesome. Um, regional events, um, family rooms coming up. If you haven't signed up, the prices are changing. It's in Las Vegas. I think we already have over 30 people going from this office. So and rooms are, I mean, if, if yeah, they're, all already sold they're, out, they're going quick. Yeah. So if you're, if you're not, if you're planning on going at least get a, you have to register to get in the room block, which is cheaper. It's about 50 percent cheaper on the room. So register now prices will go up, but it's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to have our own event at Las Vegas. So. Look forward to that to the attendees. Um, I mean, and okay. also we're gonna have our uh, regional event with the. Where's the Where's the room block at? Is that Mandalay? Mandalay. Mandalay Bay. So, but you can't access the room block until you register. So, because they're gonna ask you for your confirmation number stuff. So, so you have to register and then go to Mandalay Bay, or you can go to Luxor's next to that. So, you know, but super excited about that. We got our top twenty. This is the top twenty for November. So who was working through Thanksgiving? We all See? were. <laughs> we all were. You all were. <laughs> Everyone was. Um, congratulations to Jordan, Dexter, Del Ruba, David, Ashton, Cody, and Michael and Sarah and Myra for our top. It's twenty to thirteen. Hey, John, it's Julian, not Jordan. Julian. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm like, you can't come away short. Congratulations. You know, it's competitive when Mark was at the number of sitting in the reporting. Yeah. So it was, a, it was a, actually, it was a, a, a hot November. So. <laughs> uh, number 12, Jose Hernandez, our newest coach, Patrick Ryan Byron. Congratulations. Andre, Jesse, Bobby, and Brian James. Congratulations. All the way at number five. So congratulations. And our top four are? 
Congratulations, Tomas and John, number four, Tuan, number three, Paul, number two, and Daisy, number one. Congratulations. We are going up. So we are still giving away the parking spots. But then mm -hmm. after the time meeting, I want to do a short presentation by Colby, our guest today. So if Colby, you want to come up, he's going to give us some nice gifts if you want to do. Hello, uh, my name is Colby Burns. Um, I'm one half of Burns Legacy Design. Um, it's a business that me and my wife started two Februarys ago. It's kind of my retirement plan. I am an active duty army still. I'm a recruiter here in Sacramento. Um, watching your guys' presentation, I can see a lot of similarities between the three and what you guys do. <laughs> yeah. I, I have been married eight years. Uh, almost nine. I have five kids, uh, all the way from 16, all the way to five, about to be six, um, which is kind of where the legacy part comes in. Um, I've done art all my life. I used to draw pictures to my dad in prison when I was four, um, all the way till when I started in the military. A lot of people were like, oh, you draw a lot, you should, you should tattoo. And I was like, no, I want to ruin people's bodies. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want my art to be enjoyed forever. I don't want it to change. Um, but then I did start tattooing. I did it for nine years. Um, but it's hard. It's hard moving around. It's hard uh, on the body. So I started doing things like woodworking. And I was doing it all by hand. Um, I would sit there in my, my living room with the Dremel and just drill it out. Have sawdust everywhere and throw my wife nuts. <laughs> so two years ago, she bought me a laser engraver. So I could stop destroying her house and making her clean it up over and over again. Um, but as I am still active duty, I don't have all the time to do it. So she started getting really aggravated with me. And then she just started learning it. Uh, she learned the system way better than I am at it. But I'm, I'm the artistic influence. So we have the ability to do a, a simple design really rapidly, really quick, and push them out. So bulk orders, stuff like that, once the design is in there. It's easy to talk about. Uh, more personalized designs like this take me about 24 hours of solid uh, design work. Um, and then I'll sit there, cut it out, design it, uh, paint it all by hand. Uh, and everything gets sealed. Um, and every new project that somebody asked me to do, I, I evolve. Um, so this one, I actually was up till about two o'clock trying to finish it. Um, it's the first time I incorporated uh, acrylic into a card piece just because when he sent me the picture of the card, I was like, Can you make this? I was like, Yeah, and I was sitting there scratching my head. How am I going to make it look like the front part is invisible because you can slightly see his body around it? And so my wife was looking, found this smoky acrylic, and I was like, That's that's it. I'm going to use that. I'm going to try it. So uh, I undercut myself a lot just because I decided to go a little bit further in the designs. That's that's my promise to whoever comes and gets business from me, is that I'm going to work as hard as I possibly can to get you what you want. Um, so anything highly customizable, highly personalized, uh, we send pictures throughout the entire process, so you can see what our concept is, and we can tweak it as you want. Um, it's not going to hurt our feelings. My job is to sit here and, and make what people want. I'm trying to bring my art into the world, and... Uh, make it appeasing to whoever's hiring me to make that piece. Um, so it doesn't hurt me at all, just like what I did with tattoos, um, I'm going to do with my work. So whatever you want, no matter how small the detail, whatever it is, I can change it. It's not going to upset me. Um, but I brought up a plethora of different options. Uh, we make a lot more stuff. We have it on our Facebook and Instagram. Everything we make, it's posted on there. Um, and then we just ask if you do buy something from us, that you uh, take a picture of it. If you're giving it to somebody with those people, and then tag us, uh, just to kind of show the appreciation and get our name out there. Um, we do things like multi-layer designs that have lights integrated in it. Um, simple closing gifts that you could have sitting in the house when they show up. Um, things for like showings, uh, so when people show up to your uh, 
uh, showing, they could just scan the QR code, get all your info there. Uh, we create the QR code, or if you have one and you have it in a digital format, we can put it on there. That way you don't have to deal with two different uh, avenues. Um, door signs or another like clothing gift or anything. Um, we even make personalized anything. Anything. <laughs> anything. <laughs> so this day, if it's any bigger than this is the cut space that I have. I maximize what I could do on my laser engraver. Anything that goes bigger than this, I still do by hand. Um, that's just my my home to my craft. Came up learning to work uh, on houses, building houses. Um, so working with my hands just came natural. Then I became a mechanic. Now I'm a mechanic on helicopters in the army. Um, so it's just working with my hands, doing anything. That's what I really enjoy doing. Um, Things like if you wanted to give uh, a thank you card or anything, you can just sign in here, have it, and give it to them, or have it sitting. Um, I did bring because last year I did close on my house with Rich, um, and I've been loving it. I love Plumes Lake. Uh, very quiet. Yeah. <laughs> uh, being that, that I've been around airfields for the last uh, sixteen years, but it's nice and quiet. <laughs> <laughs> I come from a, a ranch. I used to break Mustangs uh, for bronc riding. So, coming from nice and quiet, being in the military, being around airfields, it's it, hard to sleep. Right? Now I can sleep all the time. No, <laughs> that's our promise. <laughs> yeah. 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 Last year, see that you guys had a Christmas tree, so I brought a couple ornaments. Uh, one says, co workers are like Christmas lights. They hang together, half of them don't work, some aren't very bright. <laughs> 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 Because of God, made everything possible, right? It's just uh, the nativity scene. Yeah, the nativity scene. Um, so. I bought a I bought a couple ornaments last year, and if you don't have like a gift idea, they have wraps where you can put like a twenty dollar bill and hand it out. Like, hey, here you go. Right, super nice. Um, real quick, Kobe, if I can say something. If you have any veterans in your family that you like something really special and customizable. Colby and his wife actually gave me a very great uh, um, American flag with my time and service and my rank. That was really cool. And he's got cutting boards back there too, but yeah, go on. Sorry. Appreciate it. Um, we even do slate, uh, metal, glass, can engrave pretty much almost on anything. I can't cut metal. I can't engrave on it. I have to spray a, a special spray on it, but I can do metal things. I got to cut it by hand if I do cut it. Um, but coasters for closing, stuff like that. Um, and then I brought some funny uh, work magnets. I don't know if you guys have a fridge or anything, but I'll leave it here for <laughs> um, And then other magnets, again, it's highly customizable. We do states, we do just the USA, right? Anything. And then uh, I had one last gift. That I've been carrying around for the last year, but me and my wife keep forgetting to get it to Rich. The keychain for you. Um, just had the information that way you can nice. show it off. Appreciate it. Uh, Thank you. Hey, you got my number. So it's an idea for another closing gift. You give them their keys with your info on it. That way they always carry you around. Um, I know that I've come to a bunch of events, especially the Halloween one. My kids love it. Uh, last year, the gunman was out there, and I was going crazy. <laughs> I, I definitely appreciate what Rich did for me and my family. He worked really hard. Uh, I was living with my sister-in-law, uh, trying to figure things out. It's the first time being away from a base, so I was like, well, I don't have all post housing. I don't have housing here to help me. Um, and, he, and he worked really hard, him and his team, to give me somewhere. Um, and I got a big family, so a big house here in Sacramento wasn't working. Uh, way, way too over my budget. Um, got me a, a very nice home, uh, something that I'm very proud of. Um, so I appreciate that. Uh, I appreciate the ability to come and speak to you guys and to try to put myself out there. Please, if you ever have any requests, anything, personal orders are the ones that ring true to me. Uh, even if you can't think of anything, I'm a very conceptual thinker. So if you just tell me about the people, where they're from or what they like or their past or present, uh, what they want to do in the future. I'm very good at research. I can look at things. Um, 
figure it out and show you an idea if it's good to you that I move forward. If not, then I change. That way I can keep the content that you want. Um, but that, that's my promise to anybody that comes to me. Yes, but you think about Popeyes, you do something simple in bulk. And I'm going to do 25 Popeyes with my top VIP clients, right? And so I, we wanted to wrinkle in thank you because he does amazing work. And I know a lot of you, I get this question all the time. What do you get for closing and how do you do this? And if you want something unique, especially for your, your great clients, this is a great option for you to do that, especially if you're going to spend the money anyways, give them something unique that's, that's very meaningful to them. And will likely stay in their house, which is kind of what you want, right? So when they refer you, they're like right there, right? <laughs> so thank you, Colby. We appreciate your time. So well, we do work with more pies, so we can definitely get deals on that. Nice. Okay. And he'll be here. Here's the stuff here. You can come check it out. But um, we have our tw tw we have our parking spot giveaway. Woo! All right. Wait, wait. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> We have a mission for the agency. I don't know if there's going to be steps in the middle of what, but it's raining. Steps of. Alright, ready? It's Paul and Anna. I'll see you. You might be further than this. We're here to wait. We're here to wait. I heard when Eternity wins, it's like a free fall. Yeah, including Rich. So if you guys see the turn beat, you have a park spot. One more time, let's do this. He's on So congratulations to our next team meeting. Congratulations, everyone. Have a great day. Have some appointment on your behalf. Thank you, everyone, and have a Merry Christmas.